Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, and Callie and I have finally made the switch from inner tubes to mooses in our front and rear, specifically from Nitro Moose. So this has been a long time coming for us. We ride with a large group of people and almost all of them are running Nitro Mooses at this point. And we always wanted to do it, but we had all these inner tubes laying around. It's like, oh, how are we gonna just throw these inner tubes away? Well, we didn't have to throw them away. We ended up using them all because inner tubes get flats. Mooses, however, don't. So kind of when we went through that stock, we decided it was time to definitely give this a try. What this is, it's basically a foam insert. Now, Nitro Moose puts a lot of R&D and testing into theirs. So to say that it's just a foam insert, I think is a little bit of a slap in the face to them because it's a lot more. Nitro Moose uses what they call a micro matrix of proprietary elastomers. Say that five times fast. What that's gonna do is increase the durability. So that's one of the downsides to the Moose system is that because you're running these foam inserts is that over time they're gonna degrade, they're gonna get softer, and you're gonna need to replace them. Well, Nitro has increased that durability. They're calling it two times longer. We have friends that have thousands of miles on theirs. And really, I think it comes down to how you prepare it when you put it into your tire, as well as what kind of maintenance you're performing over different rides and over different miles. So what they're gonna send you is some gel. And you apply this into and around the entire tire, and then you slip the Nitro Moose into it. This is gonna help to keep the heat down and let things slide inside of there. That's what degrades this, is the buildup of heat as well as these two surfaces sliding against each other. So if you're gonna maybe do 500 miles or a thousand miles, you can always take that Nitro Moose back out. You could apply more of this lubrication to it and put it back in and keep on riding. That is gonna probably extend the longevity incredibly. Now we have about a thousand miles on these. If you wanna know how these are holding up over the next few months or years or whatever it is, just leave a comment below, ask us how they're holding up for us and we'll definitely get back to you. What we're expecting is that over time, they're gonna get a little bit softer and probably at some point they're gonna to be too soft for us. And at that time, we're gonna to want to change them out to another set. Another complaint that mooses have is what some people refer to as a dead feel. And this can come because you're not running air in any of your tires anymore, you're just running this foam insert. And so when you hit bumps or logs or rocks, you don't have this rebound effect or anything like that. It, it literally just kind of feels like the front end is dead and is heavy. What Nitro Moose has done is they've built those mooses with a high concentration of nitrogen, and this helps to eliminate that dead feel. Now for Cal and I, I'm gonna say we're not the best dirt bikers out there. We enjoy doing it, but we're definitely not the best. And so for us, I don't know, we never once felt any type of this dead feeling that people have talked about. And again, Nitro Moose has tried to eliminate that. For us, I think that they've easily eliminated it. It was something that I never felt. Now we do have friends that are expert riders and they also run Nitro Moose. They don't have the dead feel either. They've got no complaints on how it feels or how it rides. The one complaint that I think everyone probably has in the end is that you're gonna need to replace them. So we've heard people say that, oh, it starts out too hard, and then in the middle, it gets right to the point that they like it and how soft it is, and then after that, it gets too soft and it's time to replace it. We put in the eight to 12 PSI mooses in the front and the six to eight PSI in the rear. For us, that was perfect, that was key. That's exactly kind of where we like to run our tube system anyways. So when we put them in, there wasn't any kind of a break-in. We literally threw them in, took a trip to Idaho, and immediately began to rip. It was awesome. I really enjoy knowing that I don't have to worry about any kind of pinch flats or punctures. Callie and I are running the Golden Tire 216, the fatty in the front, and on the rear, it's a Maxxis IT Desert. Now, if you go on their website, they make a ton of different sizes for a plethora of different tires out there. So you just wanna choose what tire you're running, and then next to it, it'll say what Nitro Moose that you need for that specific tire. When we went to install these, we had the advantage of a Rabaconda stand, and it made the install process seamless. I found it to be a lot easier than with tubes, mainly because I didn't have to worry about a pinch flat. However, overall, I thought that they did go on a little bit easier than a tube. And if you don't have a stand, 
you just have some tire spoons, you're gonna be able to get these in no problem. On Nitro's website, they have a bunch of different instructional videos. If you are using, say, a Rabaconda stand or you're just using tire spoons on your garage floor, they've got you covered and they're gonna help you get these in. Definitely not something to worry about. Speaking of worrying about, you can throw all your worries away because once you get these in, you have nothing to worry about. You're not getting any more flats. All you have to do is pin it to win it. If you guys have any more questions about the Nitro Moose, please leave them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you. Also, if you're wondering where we are or what we're up to, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.